Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3. In the last video... Wow! You can see for yourself, can't you folks? Uh, I think we're in a spot of bother. Oh crap! Nico was there as well, wasn't he? Christ! I hope he's okay. Right, now. Merely problem here. Solution. Shoot the valve. Very, very, very effective, folks. Shoot the valve. All dead makes your life a, a lot simpler. Right, now you have got to be careful coming out of here, folks. This is not safe, this place. There are zombies everywhere. We're gonna take these guys, shoot those two down, and just run. Do not hang around here. Just, just get out of here as fast as you can, especially here. Because these bloody things are still around. Ah, hate them. But now we're fine, which is. Uh, well, a relief, really. Um, so that's pretty good. Probably just eating something. Um, no, I'm not even going to bother taking a blue herb. We don't need it. We got a couple. That's all we need. All right. What we're going to do here is we're just going to drop um, some stuff off. Um, because we got way too much equipment on us. And also another thing, folks, as well. Um, if you did not um, fight Nemesis back at the uh, subway station, um, when you walk out of here and you sort of get to about here, um, Nemesis will actually come from uh, the uh, from where the screen is, folks, and you have to fight him here, actually, um, which is not ideal. So, um, so yeah, another reason why you want to fight him at the subway station, I think. Right. So, if we. Um, we uh, put some stuff away here. Don't need that. Um, we might as well grab the reloading tool here. Combine that with that. 24 magnum bullets. Very, very nice indeed. Um, combine those. We'll... Um, uh, well, we don't need the magnum for now, so we can put that away. Which we shall do here. If we now we must keep hold of the red. Do we need the red herb? No, actually, there's no point in having the red herb on us because we've got the um. Uh, well, there's no there's no blue no blue herbs no um green herbs uh, where we are. Um, so we can't do anything with that. So we must put that away. All active. Oh, yep. Yeah, might want to combine that up with our uh. Messine oil. Uh, mixed oil. Um, so again, we can put that along with our... Uh, um, and basically, these are the last two items we need to get back to um, put in the trolley. Uh, so you might think, okay, well, we've got our items, so it's off to um, go to the trolley. Except, actually, that's not completely it, folks. Um, you can head back to the trolley now if you so want. But, we have this. The crank. Now, there's a little optional bit that you can do here, folks, um, which is, you know, kind of nice. Um, and there's actually, um, there is a, uh, so I didn't really show it off in the, um, when we first came through here, folks, but right here, folks, there's a, there's actually a shutter, which is actually closed, um, which you need the square crank to open. And there's also a couple new bits and bobs that you can actually get, um, to, and there's lots of, uh, items you, if you come back here, you can actually grab hold of, folks. So we're gonna go do that, um, while we're here. Um, I'm very tempted to mix these A's and B's right here, but I'm going to say now you can get away with not mix them for now. I know ammo is not good, um, but we'll have to uh, just play it safe here. Well, not play it safe, just to play it very carefully. Um, so we'll come through here. So, uh, if we head back um, along here, yes, some zombies will um, burst through here, just ignore them. Uh, 
Uh, so we'll come back here. That's a lovely sound. Obviously someone else has gone MUNCH! Oh. Whoa, there's a few more here than I thought. Oh, there's a few. Uh, uh, sit down. Ah, damn it. Oh, we have problems, folks. Right. So what we'll do, we'll put the crank in. We'll just put the crank in here now while I'm thinking about it. And if you come and uh, open this up, uh, there's three cases of grenade hounds here. Very nice. Um, and while the game ponders uh, even more the meaning of life, um, I think we might have to ponder taking out a shotgun here. Because, uh, yeah, not good, folks. Just to get us a bit of breathing room, really. Ouch! That's the way to go, Jill! <laughs> Ouch! Um, grenade round. So we'll grab all of those. Pretty fine. Now, we'd also, if you then still want to, um, you can head back to the. Um, you remember the back where we basically where we started the game, folks, back in the warehouse with um, da uh, Dario. Um, we can actually head back there as well. <clears throat> so we, well, we might as well really. So if we just um, head this way. If you want to head this way now, you can. I wouldn't head here first. Holy crap! She, there's someone else alive. Bloody heck! Oh, there's zombies everywhere though. It's the only problem. Oh. Damn it! I only got one of them. A bit too early on, I suppose. Well, we better help her out. God, that does not sound good, folks. In a bit of strife, to say the least. Oh, God damn it. Ah, shit. Just another victim, eh? God damn it, Umbrella. But anyways, um, if we now head back into here... You can hear that immediately, folks. Take your shotgun. You see, there's a load of zombies over there, folks. Grab your shotgun. Yeah. It's Dario. He's dead as well, folks. They're all getting picked off here. Why he came out, I don't know, but that looks pretty gruesome. Um, yeah, Dario, he, he's dead. Although, the good thing about Dario being dead... Is that it means he's actually opened up uh, this little place here. Um, if you come back here, lots of little supplies, as well as Dario's memo. Uh, one of them read the words. Uh, become a meal. Yeah, we we're aware his um. Now we know his daughter died. No picture then be like this. Hand at being a novelist. Looks at like the end for the great Dario Rosso, novelist extraordinaire, also apparent psychopath and mental case. But I suppose uh, that might just be the situation in him, so I'll cut him a bit of slack, even if he is dead. But never mind. And now, um, they're also back here. There's uh, a couple gunpowders um, back here, folks. A couple A's. And a couple bees. And, well, we might as well keep all those, really. Um, don't combine them just yet, though, folks. What we're going to do is we're going to head back upstairs. And we're going to start combining and getting hold of some ammo. It sounds like a plan. Although, be careful. Because... Yeah. Thank you for eventually dying. Appreciate that. Right, so we head inside. Um, we will uh, have a bit of a fit around with some equipment here. We've got the grenade launcher, we'll just put that away. And we'll grab those and we'll grab our reloading tool. Now, from this point, we could grab, um, we could make some more, uh, 
some more um, watching we call it um, more magnum rounds but honestly folks I wouldn't bother I would actually say considering the situation we've got no ammo whatsoever I'm gonna make some handgun ammo as well as some shotgun ammo I think that's probably the wiser thing to do here folks um, and what we got here we've got an A and a B and what we can do with these is if we combine these together uh, for a C, and we can use that either to maybe some grenade rounds later on, or we can uh, maybe even magnum boots later on, but uh, we should be okay with those for now. So we'll put that away. We've got all that, which is pretty nice. We'll grab that. Um, and really, folks, it's a. Uh, but right, we might as well combine, um, combine these actually. And yeah, just like um, Resident Evil 2, they all stack onto the same spot now, which is good. Uh, no, we're f I think we're fine, folks. Be nice to have some actual more herbs rather than the first aid sprays, but we've already used one, so it doesn't really matter now, I don't think. Alright, so. We'll um, leave uh, Dario here. Hey, if, if, if he w he should have come along with us. He decided to stay here. That was his choice, not mine. Um, as for her, damn it. Right. Um, now we do we want to go that way? No, we don't want to go that way now. Fine, we'll go this way. Oh, actually saying that. No, we are going to go that way, folks, because I've just realised that air, that air, whole area is a lot more open than here. So we can probably get away with just, just going around here. Yeah, we should be fine. Ooh, that's a few. Nope, we're okay. God damn it. Bloody zombies. Um, right, so... Oh, well, well, we have done everything now, folks. There, is n there isn't anything else left to do now. Um, so... Um, well, yeah, so we've done everything, so we might as well make our way back to the uh, trolley now, which, of course, is on the complete other side um, of everything. Which means we've got uh, a fun little jog ahead of us, but um, not much we can do about that. Sorry! Oh, no. Ah, uh, that was actually quite easy. Right. Um, no, we don't need anything. We should be fine with what we've got. Right. Dodge more dogs. Um, we'll come back through here, dodge our thing. Oh, this is horrible. It's horrible. So it's just it's just ugly. I mean, I didn't mind the liquor. Was, you know, I, the liquors are not exactly pleasant, but you know, at least it's it's not as bad. At least they're kind of cool. At least, oh, I'm sorry, liquors are a lot cooler than those things. Right. So, let's get up here and get moving on. Game? What the hell is that? Whoa! What the hell is this? Earthquakes in Raccoon City? That doesn't sound right at all. Ah! That's not good. Now we can either climb up or jump off here. You can generally just climb up, but actually, folks, I'm gonna jump off here because I want to show you this. Um, where this actually goes, folks. Um, if you jump off here, you end up 
down in this sort of little uh, little sewery area apparently and see it's, it's still part of downtown here you come all the way along oh what the hell is that and what are those things oh my god that's horrific jeez who crawled up in here and died bloody hell and that takes you back out here, folks. Oh yeah, I tell you what, I forgot that damn thing was down there. God. And if you decide to climb up, then you just sort of, you just climb up here. And you just carry on your merry way. So you really just shut it off, I mean, why not? Alright, um... We should still be okay. Well, I'm going to take my shotgun here because there's a hell of a lot of zombies out here. But we do want to get to that car. Remember the, the door fell off? I want to try and get in into here because there's some grenade rounds hiding in there. And actually, it's going to be a lot easier than I thought. No, it's not. Well, it is now. I just blew, I just blew their legs out from under them. Have some of that. Right, so I head here. Um, something actually I know actually I never actually um talked about um with those drain dimosy things or whatever the hell they are um when you're fighting them you see that little thing up there you can actually target and if you shoot it it can actually come down if you get that to hit on one of those things it will actually kill them. Um. I never actually said about that beforehand, but it, you know you can actually kill someone, um, one of them with like with that, which is oh kind of cool, really. Um, so you know just something you can use there, but um, you don't really need to generally get involved in fighting them anyway. So you know, you're, you're generally pretty fine. Right, we've got. Um, should we just actually we'll put the grenade rounds away. Because we don't need them. We don't need them on us. We got the grenade launcher here. I could arguably keep the grenade launcher instead of the shotgun, but I don't know. I'm just not the hugest fan of the grenade launcher, really, folks. Maybe it's just me. Uh, and you know, I'm gonna grab a red herb again because there's gotta be a there's gotta be a green one point. We need those two, of course, to um, fix our trolley. Fix our trolley. Good grief! <laughs> fix our trolley. <laughs> oh, I'm probably find that a lot more funnier than a lot of you are. Oh dear. Little things please little minds. Or oh, as the saying goes. Uh, we'll leave the dogs to um have a bit more of their breakfast. Or dinner or whatever time it is now, I don't actually know. Um so we'll keep moving on. Oh! Oh, well, so much bang goes the theory. Ah. Oh. Well, I, um... Hadn't planned for this. Oh, for the love of God. No, folks, I admit, actually, I have made a mistake. Um, if you get a nemesis to fight you, um... If you get him to fight you at the substation, he won't fight you when you come back out of, um... When you come back out of, uh... Thingy. Uh, the, um, sales office, and vice versa. Um, but he'll still fight you there regardless. So I tell you what we're gonna do is... We're going to make use of our first aid box, and we're going to grab a grenade launcher, and we're going to kick some backside. Simple as that. So let's go back and do some damage. Wherever the heck he is. I tell you what, folks. 
I tell you what, I'm actually going to fight him out here. There's a lot more room. Where the hell is he? Oh, come on! You're not gonna, you're not going to fight me out here. You coward. And then suddenly just a rocket comes flying out of nowhere. Do I have to fight him in there? Ah, fine. Now where'd he go? Where the hell is he? This isn't hide and seek. What? How did I not notice him there? Oh, dodge. Ow. He never seems to like it when I dodge him like that. He seems to take it rather personally. Ow. Ah. Oh, that's not fair. He just picks me up straight away. Cheat. Sit down. Jeez. Right, so what we'll do, if we get back here, we can just get a shot from behind where he can't do much about it. Uh-oh. Oh, the dodge. Ow. And that could have been bad if he grabbed us. But luckily he missed. Come on. Oh, that was a pathetic dodge, Jill. You're better than that. I thought you were stars. He's apparently stars. He dodged better than you, and he's about eight foot tall. You make sense of that. Oh, folks, we're a bit trapped here. Come on. Oh, he's down, folks. Thank God. There was not a lot of room left. Oh, boy. And for that, we get this. The M37 Parts A. Yeah, folks. We get our own custom shotgun. Very, very nice indeed. Um, but again, we need it in two bits, so we can't do it. And I've just realised, well, our, our grenade rounds are, are gone. So, um, well, at least, they, at least the grenade launcher came to some use, so I can work with that. Right. So, uh, if we, um, well, we, we've done everything now we need to, folks, so, so let's just, let's get out of here. Enough fighting with Nemesis, let's just go. What the hell? More earthquakes? What is, what is up for this, folks? I mean, I don't remember if Raccoon City ever being developed on a fault line. Or am I the crazy one? It will, what? Whoa. And, and the ground caves in? Why? Oh. Where the hell are we? This is, something's not right. This doesn't sound like an earthquake to me. What the? What is that? Jesus! What the? What in God's name is that? Lord almighty Christ, where the hell are we? Well, we're down here, folks. Um, this is not a standard boss battle, by the way. Um, uh, what we need to do, you see that there? Sort of, there's that, that orangey thing. If I come here, we basically, there's two orange swi switches we need to basically activate. But the problem is, um, that worm thing is going to keep trying to kill us, and it will kill us very quickly. So you sort of need to come in, sort of activate, you need to sort of come in to sort of draw it out, and then leave very quickly. Because it hurts a lot, and you can't kill it. And it's, oh, this one's a, this one's always a pain to get to. Uh, I hate, oh, I'm sorry, that is just ugly. Oh, we got problems. But look at this mouth thing, that's disgusting. Ooh, that was close. 
and we'll lower our ladder, which luckily pauses time, and we'll get the hell up, and get the hell out. God almighty. Yeah, folks, um... <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Actually, I do know what that was. That's actually called a grave digger. Um, actually, in actuality, folks. Um, and that is a pretty... Pretty disgusting thing. I'm gonna say that. That is pretty hideous. Not something you'd want to wake up in bed with. Not at all. Um, well, at any rate... We've, um... Well, we've, um... Well, we've survived. Um, you know, we've taken out Nemesis and we've got our, our bits and bobs, our fuse, our mixed oil. Let's just put them all in here. Ding! Double ding! It looks like we're ready to go. Oh, hi, Carlos. Here, take this. More stalking, I see. Oh, he's giving some. Oh, some flame rounds. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Nikolai? Yeah. Won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. Yeah, something I didn't really show you back at the sales office, folks, is if you go there, I mean, you do sort of kill things. You, if you go to where Nikolai was, you'll find his laptop was sort of is there, but broken. Um, and you'll also find there's like a pool of blood there. So, um, well, we heard the scream, folks. I, I think he's dead. So that's just these uh, Jill, Carlos, and Mikhail. It's looking good. I was about to say it doesn't look good at all, but apparently Carlos um, believes otherwise. How can that be a good thing? God knows. What the hell was that? Mikhail! Kyle? Christ, what is. Now what's going on? I mean, can't things just go simply for once? Whatever happened to that? Mikhail! Are you kidding me? How'd he get here? Oh, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. You're going down. Ugh. Pick on Mikhail. He never did anything to you. Oh, how did he get in here, folks? He, like, busted through the roof? Wow. Now, Mikhail, I could do with a bit of assistance. Would be nice. It's this inbred. Combine that. Flame round. Oh, the dodge. Oh, we might have some problems here. No! Oh, ho, ho, ho. How did we get out of that one alive? Sit down, you bugger! He just won't die! How much punishment can he take? Get out of the cable cable car now! Mihail, wait! What? Don't. Get out of here! Hurry! Oh, what are you doing? You gotta be kidding me! Oh! So I don't like Mikhail's chances here. No! Son of a Mikhail. Son of a oh. No, the brakes are out. Brakes are gone. Oh, it's just one thing after another, folks. Yeah, now this decision you whatever decision you make here does quite affect what happens next part of the game, folks. Um we're gonna try using the emergency brake here. Oh. Oh really, Jill? 